All right, continuing on, episode six, Alan Wake. So we're getting pretty close to the end here. And I still don't know what's happening, story-wise. Even though I've played it twice. Not because... I don't think it's possible to know what's happening, story-wise. That's know? the point, to not know? Yeah, I mean, there's a guy... Who kidnapped your wife. Well, your wife fell into the lake. You don't even know if he has her. Oh. And there's a scuba guy who, like, gives you strange messages... Yeah, I haven't got that far in the game yet. And there's tractors falling out of the sky. Vehicles falling out of the sky. This part can be pretty difficult. Um, just because it's those crazy... Like, run real fast, guys. Uh -huh. But if you come over here, there is a generator. So I just light off a flash or a flare... So that no one can <laughs> attack me. You jumped. Yeah, well. Jeez, you never cut me any slack, do you? No, I don't. Just light up a flare so it buys you enough time to get the generator started. And that will basically get rid of all the dudes except for the <laughs> tuning guy. Uh huh. They can tune. So, so why just, don't you sit in the light and kill them? From when you're invincible from the base. Because I'm impatient. Oh. And there's only one ha -ha 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 guy left, so I'm just gonna let him follow me until there's some more dudes. Okay, until you get hit with a tractor. Yeah. So there's gonna be a big guy coming right here, and you can usually take him out with this uh, explosive barrel. Which I failed to use. Seems to be a theme throughout the game. Me failing to do things? Yes. Failure to take advantage of opportunities. Yeah, well, that's the only comment you ever make about any of my guides. So. That you suck? Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Well, it seems like something you should do to make it easier. Why don't you uh, focus on one enemy before killing the other? Yeah, exactly. Why don't you suck my balls? Because <laughs> that's not a button <laughs> on the controller. If there was a ball-sucking button mm -hmm. that defeated the darkness guys instantly, I would be saying, why are you sucking their balls? <laughs> because you don't want to get the achievement that says, I suck balls. Oh my god, I think you just thought of a new thing for pimping ain't easy. <laughs> the, you, you I suck pimp route. <laughs> the I suck balls achievement. <laughs> no, you'll get to play as a stripper. You don't have to be or not a no. hooker, I mean. Dude, pimping ain't easy. You're a pimp. No, you, you can play as the hoe, though, for, like, the hoe minigame. Oh. Work the shaft, cup the balls. Well, no, no, no. Well, no you don't play as the hoe. You're still the pimp, but you're like um, a marionette. You know, the guys that control the puppets. Yeah, no, it's a mini game where you get control of the hookers. That's what I'm saying. You control them like a puppeteer. Like a video game character. No, you are literally dragging her around with ropes. No. <laughs> I think you're losing this one. <laughs> you just want the You Suck Balls achievement to be homosexual, don't you? <laughs> I'm trying to make it hetero, but you keep insisting that no, but the it's pimp not. is the one doing the No, ball but he's sucking. not doing the ball sucking. He's controlling... His hose. He's vicariously head. sucking balls. <laughs> he's vicariously <laughs> sucking Via ropes. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's got, you know, her hair in a ponytail, and then, like, some nylon rope tied through that, and he's, like, dragging her head around. Mm. Now do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, and your, your idea is vetoed. <laughs> <laughs> dude, this is a brainstorming stage. Don't poo-poo my idea <laughs> in a brainstorming stage. I'll poo-poo your idea no matter what stage it is. <laughs> Fuck you. Dude, frack me, all right? No, thanks. This is tea for tween. But I'm ching. So I finally got that guy's darkness. Like, those guys aren't even hard, really. Like, they don't pose a threat. They're just annoying. 
because just... it takes like five minutes to just break the shield of darkness. Oh, this part's pretty cool. It goes in slow mo while all these uh, barrels are exploding. Did you have to shoot them? No. They like fell on their own. Oh. Just started exploding. And they explode at the exact right time. Yeah. So, just start up this generator for a checkpoint. <laughs>